Yo, what's going on guys? It's Insopoli and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I do apologize for the times that I've been uploading these videos. Uh, yeah, I don't mean to upload so late. I've just been working a lot. I got hired at a new job. So I do apologize about that. I'm going to try and start recording them before I go to bed, schedule them to go up, you know, at a reasonable time. So uh, I do apologize about that. Um, the last episode, we we robbed an armored car full of money in these files that Steve Haynes' contact, Dave, uh, what was his name? It was Devin Weston. Uh, Devin Weston wanted, so we delivered them to him, and uh, Michael actually got in contact with a movie producer by the name of Solomon Richards. So, uh, let's go see him. And we're actually calling Franklin right now, so uh, let's see. Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? All right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Yeah, um... Judging by the way that things have been going, I do not think it's a step up or an opportunity. And by the way, Franklin does not need any kind of step up, okay? Because the last time I checked his bank account, it was somewhere in the couple hundred thousands, okay? So Franklin does not need a step up. If anything, he's already gotten a massive step up, and I don't care about the new assault shotgun ammunition. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, let's go see Solomon Richards and see... If Michael can become a movie producer, because apparently movies and killing people is all Mr. DeSanta cares about. Or Townley, DeSanta, whatever. Let's see. Okay, that was the weirdest animation I've ever seen. We just. Okay. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? What was that explosion? You cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> Isn't Rocco Pelosi from GTA 4? That new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> <laughs> I love you already. I believe Rocco is from GTA 4, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, go to East Los Santos. Yeah, it was Rocco and... Hacky? Was that the other one? I believe so. Alright, well. Let's go try and convince this guy that he needs to, you know, start directing and acting, so. 
Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No! <laughs> Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyway. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. As you guys can see, I'm the best driver in the world. Okay, but we have arrived. Okay, well, we have arrived, but the game didn't register. Okay. Let's see, is this him? Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM pack. Yeah, that's Rocco from GTA 4. <sighs> That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Tramp Stamps is Pelosi Entertainment, huh? We got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. I reached Shelly Pad without alerting Rocco. Rocco went inside, so... Hello? I don't think I have to worry about alerting him. So what am I... Am I just supposed to rough these guys up? Or something? Scare them into this deal? Hmm. How about you just stay where you are right over there, buddy? Oh! You can't be here. I'm not here. I'm calling the boss. I'm not here. Wait. You're done. God damn. Alright, mission field, Rocco was alerted. Okay. I thought that gun had a suppressor on it, but I think it's just Trevor's SMG that has a suppressor on it. Alright, let's try this one more time. I think I have to clip that guy. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It's hard to tell with these mobs. Why do they even call it clipping? It I've never heard that phrase anywhere other than Michael saying it. Okay, that worked, because I had a suppressor this time, and I wasn't being an absolute buffoon. Right, and there is one other guy up here. Where it... Whoa, what are you... That was the most unprofessional way I could have done that, but I could care less. Damn it. Alright, we're up here. You are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Wrinkles? Uh, what's up, Rocco? This is jackass. Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Yeah. You believe this fucking clown? No. Oh, he's got a gun? Guy's all mine. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for this. <laughs> Come on, Buck. Bucko. I'll go. Ooh. <clears throat> you can't even touch me. Can I clip you? All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Are right, you getting the helicopter? What do we do now? Scare him into signing the contract? Ooh, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Uh, change mill and then a eight. Falling erratically.
No, you're really not. I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs. I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Okay, well, I try, like, flying under bridges and stuff. We're low enough. Should we jump? Why wouldn't we? Auto save. Oh, I, I'm fully aware. Just stop being a bully, okay? Enough! Oh, enough! Alright, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you. And just stop! <laughs> what? You come to your sense. I'll take you to the studio. Alright, go back to the studio. So, did we... All I'm saying, Rocco was... Hey, Milton, what? You I know... Yeah, I believe that Rocco was a kind of a tough guy in um, GTA 4, but and we just Michael just roughed them up. So then again, though, they kind of did ruin a lot of characters from GTA 4, kind of like uh, Johnny, the biker. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little key. How about I call my guy, going a little jolly? And call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now? And we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Ah, what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael. What can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed. Michael. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh. Wow, Michael's a movie producer. He's so happy about it. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we got here. Devin. Okay, let's go see Devin. But does Devin know that we are a <laughs> that we are now a freaking movie producer? I don't think he does. And uh I'm gonna have to take your moped. You guys don't think I'll ride this all the way. What? what? Confirming your appointment with Devin Weston at his new development on Power Street in Alta. Please be prompt and arrive ready for work. Okay. Point is, you guys don't think I'll ride this thing all the way there. Watch. Just watch me. Wait, this thing's actually got some giddy up. Let's see what Devin needs from us. Oh, man. Is this a mission I think it is? Where Michael and Trevor become cops? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. 
Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this Trevor as a cop. Way to fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Why do you just piss off? All right, get in the car. This is kind of an ugly car. I'm not even going to lie. Go to the gas. 2.37 miles away. What's up, Mike? Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. Let's see. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Sorry, but like I said before in the video, I am the best driver. I don't know if you guys saw that. It, it looked like it looked like the footage was slowing down. You know, it looked like I was using Franklin's ability, but in reality, I wasn't. You know, see, the bar was full. I'm just, I'm that good. You know, I I made such swift turns that it looked like it was slow motion, but in reality, I just dodged him in real time. One of you two is for real. So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh. Who wants to race us? We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. They don't even know. They're. <laughs> They're gonna get pulled over by Trevor. They're gonna get pulled over by Mr. Phillips. They don't even know how insane he is. I honestly feel bad for these two idiots, and you guys just got off on the wrong exit, so now we actually have a reason to pull you over, let alone speeding. I'm about to pass you. See, like, right there, it looks like it's slowed down, but I'm just that good. And, you know, it's not slowed down. I'm gonna pass you in the blue. Never mind, because every time I do, you get turbo boosters. I will win this race. I just want to let you guys know. Aw, oh, you made me go in the grass. Oh, you're gonna go in the wrong, wrong way, huh? See? Like every time, leave that. Every time, you know, I, I prove that I'm the best driver. For some reason, slow motion kicks in. So uh, I, I don't know. It just, I, I'm just that good. But you know, it's not that good right now. Is that I'm losing this race? Hold on, we just got rocket boosters. Okay, well, every time I go to pass him, the game won't let me. Okay, well, at least I'm, like, staying with him now. Okay, where's... Where's Trevor and Michael? What did I... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the guy with the blue car just said, screw you guys. Oh uh, man, and there's rods going through my head. Uh, Whatever. Here they come. What did I just witness? Later. There's no way I just witnessed. Trevor and Michael are in cop outfits. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. I don't know what I expected. Oh, hey, dear. How you doing? Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. Hey, oh, what's up, Walter? You guys get that reference? Okay, uh... I don't know how in police motorcycles we're gonna catch, what was that, like a McLaren and the orange Bugatti? I don't think they can hear the sirens. We've got to get close. That's Trevor. You're chasing a guy in a Bugatti. I'm chasing a guy in, like, an off-brand GTA McLaren. Okay. So zip your mouth. Let's do this. Let's get them. Trevor, do you not understand what they are driving compared to us? Jesus. Okay. 
I actually, I don't think the game will let me catch him yet. Because I believe there's a bridge where I actually do have to catch him. Yeah, I think it's right after Polito Bay is where we're going to catch him. There's like a bridge. Be rewarded. Stay with him. Come on, come on, come on. I can swear we've circled half the state. I have, you haven't. I have circled half the state. Because I played as Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. Well, not Trevor. Piss off. Come on, man. Yeah, they're slowing down. Good. It's damn just like good. Dead. Come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, this is the bridge where they pull over, I believe. Sorry, it's super late. And I worked. Whoa, hey, stay in the car. Sorry for the yawn. Boy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh try to keep it under the limit. Oh really? You and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer, is this officer, entirely uh, necessary? yes it is. Get on, come on. Fucking Hands on the man. car. Let's go. Come on. Get out car. of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick. <laughs> you little shit. Get the wow, Michael was the one to lose his cool and not Trevor. Trevor let them spare. Like Trevor spared him. Oh, you guys are done. You guys are done. I'm smoking you guys. Man, I'm sick of trying to so slow stand with these fools. Can we have a race? Are well, you talk a good game? Okay. Apologize. Just don't scratch the car. I'm still that good. Oh, Trevor. Where do you think you're going, bud? Hey, Trevor. Bye, Trevor. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. What a save. Assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a tow truck having special time with the road. That was just vile. Yeah. Hey, Frank. Yeah. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You go right before I met you, I was supposed to be rising racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. Oh, I'm serious. If you had got me fired from my job, that's exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of a false statement. Actually, that's kind of a false statement because, um... I'm way out in front, guys. No way that at his repossession job he'd be boosting a car like this. Hey, so. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. You don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Uh, Trevor just listening to these stupidest conversation I've heard in my life. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna win the. Oh, they're catching up. 
What do you mean? Like, how am I going to beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy in you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional <laughs> woman who's doing a job. We'll leave it at that. Trevor, we're not even into her. Plus, no way she's gonna date anyone like you. So, ooh, looks like I won. You guys suck. And Trevor just hit the wall. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. No. Come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. What a scumbag. Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan in Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand <laughs> the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. No. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Okay. Why do guys, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go and leave it up there. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Hope you guys enjoy the series. And uh, we got to see Trevor as a traffic cop. That was a sight. But uh, yeah, it's been a Later.